Yo, Ethan, wake up, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, what time is it? Uh, 7.24. Ugh. Give me five more minutes and then I promise I'll wake up. Dude, you know my house is like a long ways away from school. <sighs> no, come on. I'll be downstairs. Ugh. Fine. Mom, when is breakfast gonna be ready? Me and Ethan are gonna be late for school. What do you think I've been doing down here all this time? Look, Mom, I don't know what you've been doing down here all this time, but I really need to eat breakfast because I don't wanna be late and get detention. Okay, but where's Ethan? He should be down here by now. He got up late and now he's getting ready. Okay then, breakfast is on the table. <sighs> I'm here. Oh, Ethan, you made it. <sighs> yeah, I had to rush down here. But, ooh, breakfast looks delicious. Yeah, man, but we better hurry up because I don't want to be late. Tyler, wait! Don't forget your signals both right and left, and please, no texting while driving. Mom, for the last time, you saw how I passed my driver's test. Now I gotta go. Ethan's waiting for me. Bye! Bye, Tyler. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Where did the time go? All right, where you've made it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this feels like the first day of ninth grade all over again. I haven't been here in so long. Dude, it, it's only been five days. I know, but it still feels like freshman year all over again. I was a nervous wreck. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, man. I mean, it's like my first day here. I mean, I had a big crush on Arya, but I was worried she'd never get with me. But at least we're friends now, and she's your girlfriend. Yeah, at least that'll be one good thing I'll be able to see here. Well, uh, let's go in. We don't want to be late for a history test. History test? Uh, yeah. Didn't you study? No. I was too focused on my mom and uh, my evil stepdad, but I never had time to study. I didn't even know there was a history test today. I mean, you were gone for five days, so at least you'll have an excuse for why you didn't study for the history test. I know, man, but Tyler, my grade is an 89. I don't even know how much this test is going to count. I mean, I think it's going to be like worth 50% because like most of the test is going to cover the geographical studies we've been doing. Oh my gosh, that probably means my grade will go down to a 69. And that's not going to be any good. <sighs> what am I going to do, Tyler? What am I going to do, man? Just tell Mr. Stolt that you've been gone for five days due to family conflicts. Now, come on. I don't want to be late for his class. I'm doomed. All right, class, settle down, settle down, settle down. Now, as you know, I put your test through the grading machine, and um, I'm going to be passing out your test. So don't talk, or if you do, you're going to get sent to detention. Now, I'm going to pull out your tests here, and I am going to pass them out at the moment. Oh, yeah, baby, a 97. Ethan, what'd you get? A 54? Oh, my gosh. My grade is going to go lower than a 69. What did you get? 
Oh, well, um, not to make your problems worse or anything or to brag, but I got a 97. But, um, that might affect your grade, um, in a pretty bad way. <sighs> this is so bad. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um, Ethan, may I have a word with you outside? Uh, sure, Mr. Salt. All right, follow me. Um, okay. So, Mr. Salt, uh, what's, uh, what's up? Don't what up me, Ethan. You got a 54 on your test. This is 50% of your grade. Your grade's gonna go down very low, Ethan. I'm very disappointed. Out of all my years of teaching you, ever since freshman year, I've never seen you score this low. I don't want to see this again. Did you not study or something? Because I can clearly tell by your grade on this test that you did not study. Well, Mr. Salt, maybe the grading machine was broken or something. I don't want to hear any excuses from you. The grading machine never lies, and this is clearly not a lie. I know you did not study for my test. Look, Mr. Salt, I'm sorry. It's just I've been gone for like five days, and it was because of family conflicts, and they were pretty severe, and I was just like looking out for my mom and stuff, but I didn't even know there was a history test. Ethan, I announced that there was going to be a test today, the week before your absence. I know, but I just didn't have time to study. It was just like really severe, and I couldn't do it. I'm sorry, Mr. Salt. I know you're disappointed in me, but I just had to I just had to help my mom. And I just came back and I didn't even know there was a history test. I really did not study. I didn't even have enough time to study, I swear. Ethan, if you are going to be gone for a week, you need to make sure that you give a note to the principal that you are going to be absent for five days. This is counted as an unexcused absence. And you should have studied because you knew this test was happening. Why didn't you study other than your family conflicts? I know they might have been hard, but you still could have put some time aside and studied for the test. Ethan, this grade is terrible. And if you don't get it up by the end of the quarter, I'm afraid you're not going to be able to pass my class. This is a very important college class. And I know you want to go to your dream college, but this isn't the way you should be taking to go to that college. If you do, I'm probably going to have to hold you back. Hold me back? What? I don't want to get held back, please. I'll look like an idiot. Then don't fail another one of my tests. Look, Ethan, I'll give you an opportunity to get your grade up. I'm going to give you some extra credit, not for the test, but like extra homework and stuff for the nights. Extra homework? Look, I know I got a 54 on my test, but does, is this really worth a punishment? Ethan, this isn't meant to be a punishment. It's meant to be an opportunity to get your grade up. Because a 54 is going to bring your grade down to like a 40. And it's 50% of your grade. I'm going to give you extra homework so you can get your grades up. I'm sorry, Ethan, but it's the way I have to do this to get your grade up so you don't end up getting held back. I don't like holding back my students. My name might be Mr. Salt, but, I, but I'm not salty. I want the best for my students, especially you, Ethan. You've been, my, you've been in my class ever since freshman year, and I don't want to hold you back. So just study, okay? Please. Can you do that? I promise. Okay, now come back inside. We're about to start our next les lesson. What do you mean?
mean it doesn't matter? What do you think I mean, you stupid woman? I mean, it doesn't matter if he ran away. He's just a puny little brat anyway. We don't even need him. He's our son. Why would you think it didn't matter? That idiot is not my son. I don't know what you're talking about, but we don't even need him. You don't need him. He's the reason why you're just a p weak, puny old woman. <sighs> now, I don't want you to keep crying about this like a little softy. Just get over it. And besides, I have, I have some places to be, so I'll be right back. Wait, wait, don't leave. Oh my gosh, what do you want? I'm not letting you leave without an explanation. Don't you talk back to me, woman. You know what's gonna happen if you ever try and pull a move like that again. Do you understand me? Thomas, why are you doing this to me? Because I want my family to be in a specific order. And that order is what I want. And unfortunately, you're not in that order. And to straighten you out, <laughs> well, you know what's going to happen. This so-called family order of yours isn't worth beating me to the ground. Listen, I don't have to waste my time explaining myself to you. You are just a filthy woman. You are my wife, and you will do as I say. Now, I have places to be. Don't come any closer, or you will get beat. Now, goodbye. <laughs> oh, Ethan, I'm so, so sorry I let you go. <laughs> oh, oh, what would your father think of me now, Ethan? <laughs> Hello? Babe, I'm getting sick and tired of this dirty motel. When are you coming back? I know, babe, I know. I just need two more days to take her money, and then we'll be able to skip town somewhere. But we need to skip town somewhere far where nobody can find us. I know, babe, I know. I just can't stand to be without you. Me neither. I can't stand looking at your pretty face every single day. But don't worry. Uh, I'll finally be able to drop this ugly, gross woman that I'm with right now. I'm just, I just need to take a couple more thousand dollars, and then I'll get a plane ticket to fly to you guys, and then I'll buy you guys plane tickets. Uh, but how are the kids? Oh, they're good. Lana's asleep and Damien's in the bathroom. But babe, don't you think that all the money you took from these past four women you've scammed are enough? I know, babe, I know, but I still need money from this ugly woman here to um, pay for our house wherever we skip town to and to get extra two first-class tickets for Lana and Damien. Uh, but I can't wait to get from away from this ugly woman. Uh, her cries sound like ducks choking on plastic, uh, and I'm glad her idiot son is out of the picture. But don't worry, babe, I am coming for you. I am moving as fast as I can. And then we'll leave this, and then we'll leave her behind a rot. <laughs> yeah, okay, but she does sound like a duck choking on a piece of plastic when she cries. Not to mention her overweight, plump body. <laughs> and I'm much younger and hotter anyways. But I can't wait for you to come back so we can get out of here. I love you so much, babe. Bye. Oh, I love you too, baby. Bye. Mwah. I can't wait to go to my one true love and get rid of this this ugly, wicked woman. Well, not wicked, but uh, super ugly. Uh, and I can't wait to go back to her uh, and my kids. I can't wait to go back to my one true love and my kids and live happily ever after. But only two more days of suffering left with this stupid excuse of a woman. 
and I can finally get what I want and give it all to my wonderful family. <laughs>